Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the case closed main theme called Detective Conan. It's pretty catchy stuff. I'll be teaching you the two main sections of this song. Okay, the first section is that instrumental that plays throughout the song. It goes like this, give you a preview. Repeats. section I'm going to teach you is that other main section. It's pretty awesome as well. It goes like this. Check it out. And again, we're repeating with the extra stuff. So it's, uh, both sections are very awesome, okay? The first section is pretty easy, okay? There's a pattern to it. There's like the seven note pattern played for three times plus the extra two notes, okay? So that's what you need to learn. The seven note pattern right now, starting the F um, right next to middle C. So it goes F, F, whoop, never mind. It's actually another octave higher. So middle C, go up an octave C is the F here, okay? So it goes F, 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 G, A flat F. And that seven note motive that we just learned here is played for three times. The second time. Third time, and then F, E, like that. See, that's what I just said. The seven note motive played three times plus two notes, which is F and E, okay? So pretty easy stuff. One more time. So the seven note motive, F, 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 G, A flat F, repeat. Third time, plus the F, E. And there you have it for the first section. Yeah, we actually learned the whole first section already, just like that pattern. Left hand, we have four chords here. The four chord pattern is F minor, which is F, A flat, C. Second chord is A flat major, which is A flat, C, E flat. Third chord is D flat major, which is D flat, F, A flat. And then the fourth chord is C major, which is C, E, G. Alrighty, so with these four chords in mind, so F minor, A flat major, D flat major, and C major. The two hands together goes like this, so F and F minor together. F and A flat major together. F and D flat major together. F and C major together. Yeah, it's a pretty easy pattern as well. Okay, so one more time, repeat it. So together. 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 And there you have it. That's it for this first section. Okay, normally you play this first section for two times in a row. Okay, it's pretty awesome. Okay, now moving on to the other section. The other section is a little bit longer, so we're gonna break it up into parts, and it's more changing notes. So we'll break it up into like uh, how many parts? Let me see. All right, so we'll break it up into three parts since it's a little bit more notes going on. Okay, so it goes like this: right hand starts on the A flat above middle C here. It goes A flat G F up to C. A flat, F, G, up to D flat, C, B flat. And that is that for the first part for the right hand. Let's do it again. So it goes like this. A flat, G, F, up to C. A flat, F, G, up to D flat, C, B flat. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have two chords. Two chords are F minor, F, A flat, C. Second chord, E flat major, which is E flat, G, B flat. Okay, so these two chords are mine. So F minor and E flat major. Two hands together, goes like this. Right hand starts off. F and F minor together. G and E flat major together. Like that. One more time, it goes. Together. Together. There you have it for the first part, okay? Now, after you learn the first part, moving on to the second part, right hand continues. It goes A flat, B flat, A flat, B flat, C. A flat, G, F, up to B flat, A flat, G. And that's it for the second part for the right hand. Let's do it again. So it goes like this. A flat, B flat, A flat, B flat, C. A flat, G, F, up to B flat, A flat, G. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, three chords. The three chords are A flat major, which is A flat, C, E flat. And second chord is D flat major, which is D flat, F, A flat. And third chord is C major, which is C, E, G. All right, so with these three chords in mind, A flat major, D flat major, and C major, the two hands together goes like this. A flat and A flat major together. F and D flat major together. A flat and C major together. There you have it. Okay, one more time, it goes like this. Together. 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 Moving on to the, th uh, actually before we do that, back to back the two parts we've learned so far in this section. Two goes like this.
hand's awesome. Okay, moving on to the third and last part here. It goes like this, right hand goes fast, F, G, A flat, like, like that, down to F, up to C, A flat, B flat, up to F, E flat, D flat, and then fast, C, B flat, C. Like that, and that's it for the right hand. One more time, it goes like this, so fast, F, G, A flat, the three notes, and then down to F, up to C, A flat, B flat, up to F, E flat, D flat, and then C, B flat, C, fast, three notes. Like that, that's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have five chords here finishing off. The five chords are F minor, F, A flat, C. Second chord goes to B flat minor, which is B flat, D flat, F. Third chord passes back to E flat major, which is E flat, G, B flat. Fourth chord back to A flat major, which is A flat, C, E flat. And fifth chord to C major, which is C, E, G. All right, so with these five chords in mind, so F minor, B flat minor, E flat major, A flat major, C major. The two hands together goes like this. Okay, right hand starts in the first two notes. A flat and F minor together. B flat, B flat minor together. E flat and E flat major together. C and A flat major together. C major by itself. All right, one more time. It goes like this: together, 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 together. Two, three, four. Here, two, three, four. And there you have it. So back to back, all three parts will be played like this, and you just repeat the three parts because it's normally played two times as well. This main theme is pretty awesome. It goes like this. both sections out of the way of all the melody and chords are very good and very smooth every single time the notes then you can start to add other improvisation and decoration pattern to it okay you can do like simple rhythmic pattern for the chords or you can be more advanced and do more octave and then jump into arpeggios and everything again right hand again like harmonizer based on those respective arpeggios not respective chords that i taught you as well so you can be like for the first thing you can be like, you can be like section you can be like more like more like a yeah play around with it it's pretty awesome really awesome thing to play around with okay but anyways that's pretty much it so i hope you enjoyed this lesson if you did make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally i have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of other videos like these for you to enjoy and learn from so most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel but anyway that's pretty much it as for now enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time thanks for watching for those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear grab the free preview of my book or just visit my website, bestpianomethod.com, for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests, and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.